Welcome back everyone, this is Dark Science from Dark Science Reviews coming at you with another stream. Today we're going to get an early look of State of Anarchy, Master of Mayhem, by sometimes you. Um, this is a shoot 'em up I guess you can say, or a shooter, shooter, shoot 'em up whatever you want to call it. Uh, kind of like beat 'em up but like all you do is shoot things all over the place. Uh, usually sometimes you has some really super easy achievement hunting games, so... We're going to get a quick look at it, and um, I haven't decided how long I'll be playing, but I'll definitely be getting, hopefully, half of the achievements while I'm uh, at it. Uh, just give me a moment to update my Twitter and a couple other things, and we'll be ready to go. And my chat will be open for anybody who wants to pop in and ask questions, but if you just want to watch, I totally understand. Um, you can just watch. Like uh, I know a lot of my viewers like to just watch. They don't like to, you know, talk too much. It's fine. I will be uploading this to YouTube uh, later on today, as I have a couple other things that I gotta upload too. I will be finishing my prior um, playthrough of Far Cry for anybody who is wondering about that DLC. I'm not just gonna drop it. Don't worry. I'm gonna actually get back to it today. We're gonna see how much of this stream we're gonna get on. Um, I might have a couple other things to attend to, but I'll let know, everybody know before I cut off for sure. Now, if you give me a few, uh, couple of moments here, um, we'll get started. All right, we are ready to go. Let's read the achievements here and see what we're in for. We got 26 achievements for a thousand gamer score. Uh, shoot 500 riders, collect thousand cash, shoot 3,000 riders, destroy 100 cars, shoot 600 aliens, land 18 large UFOs, destroy 400 turrets, eliminate 29 bank bosses, run over 200 riders. Pick up 25 med kits, 200 med kits, get wounded 25 times without dying, get wounded 100 times without dying, reach level 15, reach level 30, reach level 60, reach level 90, buy 10 weapons upgrades, buy 20 weapons upgrades, 40 weapons upgrades, and 50 weapons upgrades, learn 10 talents, 20, 30, and 40, and beat the game for a 100 gamer score. A uh, good majority of people, the percentage is looking at like 2 to 6 to 10 percent. A uh, good majority of the achievements at the bottom are like 2 percent, 4 percent. The highest achievement percentage as of right now that everybody gets looks like 17.77 percent, which is the pickup from 5 med kits. Oh, actually, it's 21.49 percent. Get wounded 25 times without dying. Oh, we got. Anything higher than that, I believe that's the highest achievement percentage. So let's get started. Okay, so we got 24 levels there. It's 48 levels in total. These are all the normal stages, though. Uh, you don't have to play on hard. There's no hard achievements whatsoever, so you do not have to play on hard. Starting anarchy. Don't ask, just shoot. I need 
Usually those are pretty uh, okay games for um. Take it to the bank. Controls are a little uh. There's a little bit of a curve, but not too much. There is money to collect for every single one of them. Okay, let's get in there. So the controls for the car are a little tough, and it's a little stiff when you're walking around with your little person or whatever. Probably take down the... Make how tough it is to the sensitivity, but... Let everybody know exactly when I unlock the first achievement. Crazy run at five percent of speed. Five percent, five percent of speed. Upgrades. Range one percent the fire range. Rid of fire. If I go with uh, rate of fire. Keep on upgrading everything. That's pretty cool. So you can just keep getting the med kits or whatever wherever you want. Just have to go out the back door over here. I believe there was one for completing 25 of those bank heist. So far, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a hard game. As you upgrade, it's going to only get easier. I think. The problem is that like it's a little slow out the gate. You gotta level everything up. What is this? Why is there a cloud right there? It looks like my car is gone. So every little kill levels you up. I don't know how hard it's gonna be to get the, um, the level 90 or whatever. But. It's not a bad game. I'm pretty sure it's only gonna be about five bucks, seven bucks. I believe it was seven bucks for a shooter. It's um. Uh, well, it wasn't what I was exactly spec expecting, but uh, sometimes you usually have really easy games. I expect some nonsense. There was one game that this uh, publisher published or whatever that I, it just made me cringe so hard I couldn't play any more of it, and that was Grab the Bottle. I don't know what it was about that game that just, I, I couldn't, con like, it's it's not that it wasn't funny, it was just so weird.
two has been cleared. What am I gonna learn? Kick fast to the one. Pick up speed. Crit chance, range, rate of fire, rate of fire goes up again. Your car disappears every time you exit the level, so it doesn't... I bet there's 25 banks. It's crazy that every little level, so it's not too hard. It looks like... Yeah, I'm gonna actually snap the achievements too while I'm at it. Be good, good to put the tracker on. I don't think it tracks anything though. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's it has a to track. It's not tracking them, so there's no point in putting the tracker on. I guess you just gotta guesstimate when you unlock them. Loading is a little bit rough in some parts. There you go. Finally. So that I guess every single little thing that they have you do is like the little mission is a level or considered a level. Take that HP up. Selling point on level six. Critical hit and damage. Three percent damage.
freaking cars are kind of funny. I haven't got an achievement pop yet, so... I can see why the... The med kit is the first one you get. Loading is a little bit rough, I will say that. There's a lot of loading screens so far in the game. By the time you finish it or whatever, it shouldn't, it's not too bad, I'm guessing. It's a little rough, but you have to find some good loading screens. Talent point. Tough guy. A runner. Critical hit chance. I like how it makes uh, random little weird sounds. Reminds me back in the day where like you would make uh I guess what they were going for is like when you would draw stuff back in the days when you were a kid and make little sounds and everything uh with your drawings. Maybe that's what they had in mind, I don't know. That's what I'm getting from it though. Where is there another car? I find it a little weird to have a pop not one yet, but I'm pretty sure they're accumulating. I'm hoping they are. And it's not anything weird. Okay. Got the next level here. Seven. 
another one. I'm guessing it just slowly keeps getting harder and harder and they keep more and more stuff to fight or whatnot. I gotta go up one more level in order to like do anything like that. Okay, so now I got um another gun. 21 minutes so far, and still not an achievement pop. That worries me a little. Okay, it looks like we moved on from an area. specific course they want you to go to or through. I'm guessing you upgrade your difficulty after you finish the first one. Better to re replenish your full health. I wonder what level I'm on specifically. Let's say I have to get to like level 99 or whatever. It might take a while. Especially since I'm barely like level 8. Waiting on our first achievement pop here.
For a shooter, it's not bad, actually. You get to level up on your way and everything. Uh, you start off slow and everything. Should have been a level up on level nine now. I went up two levels. Unless I was already a level or two before that. Get crazy runner rage. Ten maximum health. Continuing onward. This is, uh, looks like it's a. Uh, um, flying level. So they switched it up. This one's a little bit easier to control than the car was. Uh, more twin stick style, basically. I wonder if these ones count as vehicles too. It doesn't feel like they count as vehicles, otherwise we'd get progress progress towards uh, achievements and stuff. Assuming they even pop right now. Nine more levels to go. Kick master. And rage finally. And back down to the city.
All right, yeah, there is a rage meter now, so that's pretty cool. Definitely dropping more enemies on me now. <laughs> One can only hope that the achievements are not broken. I'm gonna assume the health is the first one you get. Yeah, I got an achievement just now. First stage was the first achievement you get. stage eight. Got another achievement there. Raising firepower by ten weapons upgrades. So we're finally starting to pop achievements at 33 minutes. We got two. So some of uh, the other ones should be popping here soon too. Hank, to be only at level 8 out of 50? Thought it was a lot farther off than that. Now I believe the game, this game comes out at the end of the month. Uh, if you're looking for some semi-easy achievement score with a little bit of grind. All you need to do is play the game. It's not too hard, I haven't even died yet. So. more and more enemies start showing up on screen. I'm going to assume hard mode you're going to have to do in order to get more uh, points. Obviously you could do it on normal if you really wanted to still, but I'm going to assume you get a lot less XP. Get another achievement there. Battle harden. Get 15 to 25 times and survive. Third achievement. died one time. It is getting a little bit tougher. But not too tough. Should have activated the um Should have activated my rage meter or whatever you want to call it.
Looks like they randomize what you have to do on screen. So it switches missions or something? I'm guessing. I don't know for sure. This is in my imagination that way. No, it's the same guy, they just switch his location. expensive to acquire. Buzzsaw. Okay. I'm gonna assume each gun upgrades as you go along. I wonder what the last gun would have to be. If you get the last gun throughout the campaign and then start it on hard, do they upgrade after that? Or? away from me. Basically, I think we've seen a good majority of the gameplay for the game and what it has to offer um, and how it's going to be increasing as you progress to it's not that it's hard, it's just that there's going to be quite a few levels. This gun is not the greatest for uh, fighting that enemy. I wonder if you could switch it. I'm hoping you can. Okay, so at this at this point with that gun, I can't do too much unless I'm like close. I'm starting to wonder if I could damage myself.
I'm starting to die quite a bit now. Should tell me what level I'm at in a few moments here. first part again. Buzzsaw, man, it's not the greatest. I hope they switch it off. I hope they don't make you play with even worse weapons after this. This one's probably like, it's not that it's a bad weapon, it's just that it's not idea. Oh my god, come on. I mean, I could stay at a distance, but it doesn't do me too good to not do any damage. The 
this guy's a little tough. If I could reset my um my skills right now, I could put it all to health. Maybe that would have helped. Because I don't need to go too fast right here. Come on. Yeah, you gotta be in close in order to defeat it. I don't like this buzzsaw. It's good against little tier enemies or whatever, but not for something that has a little bit more speed than you. I had it right there, I would have had him. I'm definitely getting closer, it's just dodging while being in close. Maybe the object of it is to, to like, kind of circle around him at the same time. There we go. That was close. I'll take it. Stage 10 has been cleared. I was kind of hoping to get half the achievements um, before I called it, but I'm starting to think that like this game might take a little bit longer than just uh, like an hour or two. be another bank robber or heist or whatever you want to call it. Still no progress on some of these achievements. A hundred cars, eighteen UFOs, turrets. Everything's like two hundred, four hundred. 
there's quite a bit there's quite a bit actually when you look at it in a bigger number like that it's like a little bit of a grind but not too bad get the right gun whatever you should be able to mow down the first level all over again or just hold off in the first area Loading is not fun though so far. I do not like the loading. The loading takes quite a bit of time. I've seen the loading speed quite a bit already. I'm gonna assume the loading is much worse on the regular Xbox One. Uh, I'm on the X, so loading is actually like quick, quicker, or at least half the time. I couldn't even test it because my other Xbox is uh, put away for right now. out the gun. Four percent chance to generate five HP after killing an enemy. I guess maybe the power the shotgun was what I got this time maybe the next gun I'd be real happy when it switches me out of it Another one down. I will probably try and get up to 
maybe, I want to say level 25, but I don't know if I'll last that long. And then we're going to switch off to another game. Yes, this is what I was hoping for. Laser pistol. And got abducted again. So I'm guessing it keeps going through that, and then you just end up with more enemies on the floor once you get back. So this he is a little slow. I don't like how slow the the character moves. It's too slow. like 20 something hit points per hit. Is that thing not dying?
I think it's uh, another flying area. So they make you go through one little like area with the aliens uh, every couple levels. And then a uh, flying area with the, the, the boss, then a flying area, I guess. You can Got another achievement there. Novice Trasher. Reach level 15. Novice Thrasher, my bad. Uh, we got two. They're both diamonds. I'll take that. Which is collect a thousand cash. That's where I collected more than that, but whatever. Uh, I'm, at, I'm guessing it means all at once. Crazy Runner. Damage and critical hit. Massive amounts of damage, but can't launch it too often. Semi like an insta killer shot, but like can't use it as often. The firing rate is like one, one every 15, 20 seconds. Thank <laughs> you. 
close to me. Bloodlust. I feel like the 10 points of health isn't really helping too much. You need a lot of points before it does anything. Back to the city. Eight minutes we're at 110 gamer score and five of the 26 achievements so 21 achievements left to go for the completion and I feel like we're half almost halfway done with the game it's probably like about a five plus hour game I think depending can't say depending on skill, but it's definitely depending on how many kills you get. This will be like the last area I do for now. Um, I feel that we got a quite a quite a bit of a uh, gameplay done. Now we got rockets, which is going to be kind of slow, so the next two levels are going to be a little tough. I hope it doesn't take me through just rockets. Fire rate is kind of slow, I don't like that. damage but 
It is too damn slow. Honestly, I might as well just use this gun. This game is a little bit of a grind, but at least you start to play it. You know, it's like really good. Like, it just gets, it just gets uh, a little bit tedious and boring after you go through like at least three parts. At about an hour, you've already seen everything that the game is gonna offer. They'll offer some. They'll like freaking. They'll add on some more uh, enemy types. Stuff like that, but aside from that and switching up the gun, there's not much else it does. You get what you pay for, though. You do. For a shooter, if you really like shooters, I just like anything. Repetition eventually happens after a while. It's all about, uh. It's all about uh, leveling up and the perks and stuff and getting more weapons and whatnot to do whatever you have to do. There we go, level 18. I got another perk. my knowledge that health that you get per kill that's not too bad but it's not gonna help me close range that means the next weapon that I get should be a change in my actual weapon I'm hoping I don't want to be stuck with the rocket grenade launcher would be better honestly Okay. Good 
hit with a fire range. The minute your car goes against a freaking UFO, that's it. You definitely, um... It's the battle after that I'm worried about, actually. I didn't want to have to worry about the switch later. Halfway, it starts shooting out those things too. Ridiculous! What is this? I went in close and lost half my health. These enemies are definitely stronger. Oh my god. Let's try again. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. This will be my last run through this, and once I reach the city again, I'll be calling it there. Uh, that's about the sum of the game. It just repeats itself every couple levels, and you go to space, and you do a little... Oh, wait. I guess not. What the heck? That's weird. I thought I was going to get up there, but I'm pretty sure it's going to repeat them. Orange has it sideways. See if um I get a better gun, finally, hopefully. I'm hoping so. Laser rifle. We'll find out if it's better, if it does better damage if we go out. If a laser rifle does more damage than a rocket launcher, that says something. It's like a three shot spread. Half an hour, you pop a few. Okay, we got another achievement there. That one's probably Enforcer or Shoot 500 Riders. So we're already at, a f at 500. We're at 500 of the regular kills. The rest of them should start popping little by little. Level 20, and I should be getting quite a few more um, perks here as soon as that everything's so much more expensive, though. We are going to be playing some... Uh, I'm going to be playing some... The calling too here in a few. Mostly because it's easier achievements and I gotta get some of those achievements racked up. I've been doing a horrible job. I've been playing a lot of like longer tier DA base games and I've been trying to cover as much as possible. 
we're getting to it little by little. And we'll be playing everything. It's just gonna take me a while. I got really hooked on Far Cry and got really hooked on the crew too. I I like Ubisoft games quite a bit. They're 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 like the one games that never really disappoint. They're never bad. Switching off to that after this. Achievement there. The smart guy. 25G diamond. Learn 10 talents. That's a crazy gun. I've stayed in the city quite a bit this time. I wonder what's going on with that. Like they didn't abduct me yet. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright, well, we're gonna call it here. We got about 90 minutes of runtime. Uh, the game basically isn't gonna change too much from here on out. You uh, you go in every couple levels, they take you to space, and you do like a, like a base takeover. Um, you get perk points the more you level up. I'm on level 20 it looks like so we got pretty far in and it does look like you can replay levels so you can start all over again so there's a way to grind it out so level 20 something level 20 uh, we're in space and every it looks like six levels it it circulates through and you get to go to space again to fight certain levels it looks like there's three more space levels after that and UFO bosses there's three more of those so you go through um, the bank heist ones for the anarchy or whatever then you go to uh, six levels of that back and forth uh, you get random little upgrades from weapons and as you go through it you fight an alien level or you go through like the whole alien base uh, and then you I think you fight a UFO in between those and then you fight the alien and every alien has more and more racked up power so it's getting tougher at about 20 it starts getting real real tough to fight them because of the bullet spread and because of how little health you have, uh, there is a there's normal and I believe hard. Uh, I'm guessing 48 is the boss stage, which is a big alien. It looks like an eyeball, so I'm guessing it's going to be something that looks similar to the aliens, but huge. And then you get perk points as you level up, and most of the achievements are based off of kills. I got 7 of 26 so far in about 90 minutes. The ones that I got were... First aid was was weird because that was the first one. But I could see now why it was. Then there was the by 10 weapon upgrades that came right after. Get wounded 25 times and survive. And then... Reach level 15, get a thousand cash, shoot 500 riders, and learn 10 talents. 
we got quite a few left and a good majority of them are learning the talents. You need to learn 40 talents total and you need to buy 50 weapon upgrades. So you got a couple achievements attached to that. You gotta reach level 90 which is gonna take quite a bit because I'm only level 20 I believe. Um, the rest of them are med kits and uh, getting wounded without getting killed, riders, you gotta run over certain ones, eliminate bank bosses, turret kills, uh, large UFOs have to go down, 600 aliens, 100 cars, 3000 riders, so basically everything is accumulative. I believe by the end of the game you should be able to double back and go through it. And by the second time you go through it, you should have everything. So I think the game will probably take about two to three hours, maybe four, depending on how long it takes you to get everything done. Uh, once again, that was State of Anarchy, Master of Mayhem, by developer and publisher, sometimes you. Uh, I didn't actually ask for this game to cover it. Uh, this is an early preview look at the game. If you like what you've seen, it is coming out. Uh, pretty soon on the Xbox Live Marketplace this July, and it, it, you get everything what you like. Everything that you see here is what you're gonna get. It's definitely a shoot 'em up. It's definitely a twin stick shooter. Um, it can get a little repetitive, but for its price, I mean, you, you get what you pay for. Honestly, all sh all shoot 'em ups kind of get repetitive after a bit, you know, depending. It's just all visuals. Um, I like the art style they went with. I think it's it's real cheesy and real funny at the same time. Uh, about an hour in, I started to feel like a little bit of the, the grind. Uh, it's definitely something that you want to take breaks in between uh, as it does get harder. Uh, once again, thank you all for watching. And I'll have another stream coming in just a bit here. I believe I'm going to be streaming The Calling 2. Anywho. Thank you all for watching. I will be uploading this to YouTube. If you would like, share, follow, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. If you like what you've seen, uh, share it with somebody. Uh, drop me a comment. I always answer everybody on YouTube or, or in general. Uh, you're welcome to add me. If you already have me added on Twitter, Xbox, or YouTube, and what whatnot, you don't even have to worry about it. It's just, you know, sometimes you got to get that information out there for the new viewers, too. Uh, happy gaming, everyone, and thank you all for watching.